Hi, you're right. I'm just enjoying a beer to calm my nerves. Um, I don't know if you remember, but last time I, I was abused by sheeps and neeps um, because I laughed when he said water wasn't made of hydrogen and oxygen. Just look at what he said. Fucking idiot. Fucking mad cunt. You fucking sparslick. Fuck off, you prick. Okay. Shut up, you prick. What? You sparslick, baldy heated cunt. He even wanted to know where I lived. By the way, sheeps, just off uh, Clash Map View. Anyway, I'm going to watch the Peter and Pete show. Uh, and I hope they're not upset with me because I went on their channel, remember, and I asked them a question because they also believe that water isn't made of hydrogen and oxygen. So I asked them a really basic question and they couldn't answer it. Um, I'm sure they'll be okay. I'm going to enjoy the show. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that was a bit aggressive. I wonder who they're annoyed at. Yeah. That's to all you globies out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a globie. It, it won't be me, no. A lot of you globies dislike the truth. Yeah, not, but not just you globies. A lot of you science people dislike the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a globie who likes science. It won't, won't be me. Especially uh, if you've been a physics teacher. I'm a physics teacher. Absolutely, or any teacher really, to be honest with you. And yet, a teacher, in my understanding, has a very low social status. I think they might be talking about me. Yeah, yeah, teachers. teachers I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rate them any higher than than say um, a dustman. What's wrong with a dustman? So obviously some people are quite bigoted who come Absolutely, on come on our channel now we oh come on you're overreacting all i did was ask you a, a basic chemistry question it's not like i'm jimmy savile jimmy savile he was a nice man what I wish people would leave jimmy alone it reminds me that's ridiculous oh pete it reminds me very much of that that doctor who downloaded lots of child abuse images <laughs> not as bad as him uh, he was a very nice man he was a lovely doctor to me right that's it i'm phoning him now hello how you doing yeah i'm good thanks how are you good yeah i'm, I'm really good today the sun is shining oh yeah the sun's shining is it it's gonna be a lovely day today look I left you a video to watch that proves hydrogen is in water, right? Do you know how to turn on your computer so you can watch it? Yeah, okay, okay, sounds, sounds good. So, so essentially you, you plug the thing in and what, what would you do to start, start the machine up kind of thing? You plug it in. Look, stop playing games, right? I give you an experiment that proves hydrogen is in water, okay? But then for, for some reason you decided to post in the comments that the hydrogen wasn't hydrogen, it was some sodium based gas, even though it had all the properties of hydrogen and none of the properties of any sodium based gas whatsoever. Right. So where is your evidence? I don't know. You know, I don't know. I know you don't know, but you need to stop this now. You are making other people less intelligent through listening to you. All right. Now. Goodbye. And one of those people becoming less intelligent daily is this man, Master Agario. He writes in the comments section, dear points of view, demonstrate your vulgar little exp triggered in a sealed environment. R.O. water. I, th I think he's just made that up. No idea what he means by that. And sodium chloride in a sealed system with no air or atmosphere to contaminate the results. Clearly, he's no idea how we collect gas from electrolysis. Otherwise, he'd realise how dumb that was. I'll let him look that up himself. No hydroxide or similar electrolyte. Ooh. Well, we're not adding an hydroxide, are we? We are adding sodium chloride. Also, if your experiment with sodium chloride, which you claim produces hydrogen and chlorine at the respective anodes, there's only one anode. You mean at the respective electrodes. We have an anode and a cathode. But thank you for showing us what level you're operating at. Uh, what is left? H4O? 
or maybe H7O. Oh, that is incredible. You've just invented two impossible new compounds. Well done. You claim to extract the hydrogen, but where is the excess oxygen from the broken bonds? Come on now, this must be a simple one for a clever guy like you who has done it hundreds of times. The thing is, Master Agario, it is a simple one. Unfortunately, so are you. And here's another one of your followers who also says you produced a sodium-based gas at the cathode because we use salt. This guy is obviously of very high intelligence. He then goes on to talk about colour because it burns orange. Let's tackle that now, shall we? Right, I'm going to make this clear one last time because what you're doing is you're very, very, very clearly dodging, very clearly dodging the question. So here it is, very clear for you. We take the water, which is pure, deionized. We add into it sodium chloride, which is sodium and chlorine. We do the electrolysis and we get chlorine off one electrode. Off the other electrode, we get a gas. Now this gas has all of the properties of hydrogen gas. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's lighter than air. You can put it in a test tube and light it with a lit splint and we get a squeaky pop sound, which forms a mist, a vapor, which condenses into water. It burns with an orange flame. It has all those properties, all of them. <clears throat> but what you're saying, because you know you've been beat, instead of coming back and using some kind of science, you're just saying, no, nah, nah, it's a sodium-based gas. That's all you're doing. It's a sodium-based gas. Well, which gas is it? Tell me which gas it is. Tell me which sodium-based gas has all the properties of hydrogen. And you'll say, well, sodium burns with an orange flame. So? It does burn with an orange flame. So does hydrogen. But does a sodium-based gas produce a squeaky pop that produces a, a, a vapour that condenses into water? Is it odourless? Is it colourless? Is it lighter than air? I think you'll find it won't be lighter than air. I don't know if it's a sodium-based gas. Hmm. You see, unless you can come back and actually put some science behind it and tell me what gas you're actually talking about, then all you're doing is you're just saying words with nothing to back it up. You've got no substance whatsoever. No substance at all. Now, for those idiots out there who are telling me that it must be a sodium-based gas, here's another experiment you can do. The liquid that is left behind when you're doing the electrolysis, I want you to take some indicator, universal indicator. I want you to drop some in there. And before you turn on the electrolysis, it will be green because DNI's water is neutral. And then you can put the salt in and it will still be green because it will be neutral. But then when you turn the electrolysis on, it will turn purple because the solution is turning alkaline. Now, why is the solution turning alkaline? It's turning alkaline because the sodium in the water is reacting with the water to produce sodium hydroxide. The sodium stays in the water. And that concentration of sodium hydroxide gets stronger and stronger as you get, it doesn't get weaker because we're losing sodium, right? It's provable and it's testable that liquid has all the properties of sodium hydroxide. So we have a gas that has all the properties of hydrogen. We have a liquid that has all the properties of sodium hydroxide. And we have the chlorine coming off at the other electrode. For the people who's asked, asked well, what's happened to the oxygen? If your chemistry knowledge isn't that, that good, um, sodium hydroxide is NaOH. The oxygen remains in the water and reacts with the sodium to make sodium hydroxide. So the claim that you're making, it needs some substance behind it, right? Which at the minute you just, you're not offering. You're just saying sodium based gas. That's all you're saying. It's just words. You've got nothing. You've been called out. You've been totally proven wrong. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it, but come back with something more because I feel like I'm bullying you now. This has just been too easy.